cabinet ministers, officials of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Incorporated, family, friends and sponsors made up the guests in the open air suites at Bushy Park for a special tribute to Barbadian driver Zane Maloney. The Trident Motorsport F2 and now F1 reserve driver for Red Bull says recent developments have been a dream come true, but the demands will be greater next season. He says the cars are much different from what he has driven so far. It's a step up in terms of power, a step down in terms of grip, to be honest. In the corners, the F2 is almost slower than the F3, so it's a very different technique and different style of driving. Um, I'm sure that the team that I'll be with next year will will really teach me on, on what I need to do. And I think the biggest thing to learn from this year was not how to drive a car, but to how to manage a weekend and manage a championship because if I'm honest with myself, I should have won the championship by quite a big margin if I didn't make silly mistakes. So yeah, the main thing is to drive as fast as I can, uh, but mo more importantly, to, to keep the car on the track each weekend, not have any crashes um, and bring home the best championship position as possible and not race by race. President of the Barbados Motoring Federation, Senator Andrew Malalu, told the guests the boy from Barbados, as Zane is affectionately known in local and international motor racing circles, has shown maturity and is an inspiration to the Federation. In Formula 3, like Formula 1 and in Formula 2, we have penalty points for drivers who behave badly. If you are judged to be the cause of an incident to do with driving, you're given points. I want to tell you all that Zane's first year in Formula 3, everything he did, all those close racing you saw up there, not one penalty point in 2022. Absolutely amazing. Minister of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment, Charles Griffith, said Zane has a story to tell and should share it with other youngsters. I really, really salute you in terms of your journey and we fully expect you to go further as far as this particular journey um, is concerned. And not only those persons who are here tonight, but whenever, like I said, that you make podium, your success is our success. And we fully, fully embrace that. And I, I want to thank you know, those who are supporting because it, it is absolutely critical that we support the youngsters. In his remarks, Minister of Tourism and International Transport Ian Gooding Edgel said that BTMI will continue its partnership and support. I also think there are other opportunities that we can advance and where we can take it and advance Barbados and build up Barbados' name within the community. Um, as you celebrate your success, Barbados will certainly gain substantially from your exposure. And I know most people in Barbados, was it Monaco, wherever you race, there are people who will be on the phone, any device, on the television, just watching your experience. The tourism minister also added that Barbados is an iconic destination and motorsport will be a significant pillar in its marketing program next year. The international motor racing season will begin in March. Trevor Thorpe, CBC Sports.